Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. A sweetheart deal turned sour. That's what Speaker B.J. Cruz calls a deal forged between Governor Eddie Calvo and Cortec International back in 2014. The deal cost taxpayers over $10 million annually and could cost $250 million over the life of the contract. And even with the hefty price tag, Cruz said GovGuam isn't getting what it paid for. We're not in the new palatial offices. We lost one building that was demolished to build the palace of palatial offices. The three, two, two of the warehouses haven't been built, but we still paid $10 million. The annual payment was made to Cortec back in January for buildings that five months later still aren't available. Superintendent John Fernandez said the delay for the warehouses was in part because of an amendment proposed by DOE. However, Cruz is asking Governor Calvo to renegotiate, saying taxpayers could save an estimated $1.7 million. I would like to just cancel the entire contract. I mean, it's unconscionable the amount of money that we're paying for, for buildings as old as I am. But because the AG's office has advised that canceling the contract is out of the question, he hopes the deal can at least be renegotiated. Some examples include negotiating for lower annual payments, payment credits, or even additional work by Cortec, including temporary repairs at Simon Sanchez High School. Currently, a 100 million RFP to fix public schools, starting with the home of the Sharks, has been delayed because of multiple protests and appeals filed by Cortec. I'm appealing to his business sense to, to please do something about this lease. It's costing us too much money. We're being taken advantage of, and we need help elsewhere. Let's, let's work together and do that. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Isa Baza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.